Hey everyone, James here. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to use a MetaMask with my my Ether wallet. Um, uh, so you can go to myetherwallet.com. Once you're there, uh, click on the right side. You can see right here. Uh, click MetaMask extension. It's a Chrome extension. Make sure you're on a Chrome web, web browser. Um, so once you click on that, you can click that first one, um, uh, MetaMask and just uh, uh, select, uh, click on download MetaMask. When, once you do that, it will uh, take you to Chrome Web Store. And from there, you can um, uh, you can add the MetaMask to your, your Chrome extension, uh, Chrome Web, Web Store. Um, so you yeah, yeah, just click that, and it will add the extension for you. So once you do that, as you can see, um, uh, this extension was added for us right here, uh, the, the fox right here. So click on that. Once you click on that, it will give you all this privacy notice, your user agreement. Um, um, we'll read it if you want. You can just click accept. Once you do that, it will, it will give you an option to uh, create a passport in order to unlock your wallet. Um, so make sure you have a strong passport. Uh, uh, yeah, pick a strong passport once you do that um, uh, click create and once you click create it will give you the seed phrase this um, the seed phrase is basically for you to uh, unlock your wallet uh, in case um, uh, you lose your laptop or whatever happens um, uh, so make sure uh, you write that down copy it uh, don't do screenshot or you can save it as a as a word file uh, and you have it with you once you do that you can just say click I have copy it and that's it um, that's basically your wallet uh, you just create your wallet and um, yeah you can also what you can do is like exp export your private key um, Click your uh, enter your password again, and yeah, that's uh, that's your private key. Uh, you can just click copy it and write that down somewhere as well, or save it as a file. So yeah, you have that as well. Uh, so now what you can do, you can you can just go right here, and you can also view your account, your new created account. Um, this is your this is your public address. And I'll tell you how much it is in your account and uh, ETC. Um, and uh, you also like you can you can uh, copy your address, uh, your public address, if you want to send money to this uh, wallet. You can just copy it and go to whatever exchange you are or wallet. Just uh, paste it there, and you can send money to this account. Um, so the, the, yeah, that's it. In order to use this now. Uh, with uh, my Ether wallet, you can, you can just go to my Ether wallet and uh, click um, connect, um, connect to MetaMask, and it will automatically uh, connect itself. Since uh, actually, yeah, we have to refresh it in order to do that. Um, yeah, re make sure that you refre refresh it and just click connect, and that's it. But so it's connected right now automatically to my Ether wallet. Like again, this is your public address. Uh, you can do whatever you want now because this is your wallet. Um, now, uh, one more thing to do it's uh, it's a uh, uh, it, it's a good thing to have actually to lock your account. Make sure enter it with the, your password that it unlocks again, or also restore it again with with your with the seed before you send any money or anything. So make sure that. Uh, you everything is correct and you don't get locked out of your account uh, so yeah you always do that whenever you create a new account make sure that everything works after that you can just send money and um, yeah that's it and the next video I will show you how to use MetaMask with uh, Ether Delta and till then uh, have a great day